What's going on social media family? Corey Brim here with Sugar Brim Bar and in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna break down for you step by step, make it simple, easy and plain of how to make a hundred bucks with your truck. So if you're ready, watch the video all the way to the end that helps the algorithm, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and everybody, let's go! Hey guys, how's it going? Corey Brim here for Sugar Rim Bar, and in this video, I want to do want to break down how to make a hundred bucks in your truck. Listen, I made a video that just went crazy, man. I'll tell you what, I'll tag that, I'll clip that video here where you can see it. I went over how to make uh, five hundred dollars in your box truck or truck, and guys, you guys went bananas with it. I'm I'm, I'm grateful, I'm thankful. I had so many comments, but I I think the number one comment or some of the number one comments I was getting was. How do you how do you get jobs? Where do you find them? How do you make the money? So look, I want to first, first I want to start off two things. I want to thank you guys for for commenting on that. I want to thank you guys for helping out. That really helped the channel. That really exploded my channel. I was already monetized, but that one video got me like a thousand more subscribers, and it's already reached twenty three thousand views at the time of me recording this. But at any rate, so look, I want to break this down for you so it's simple, easy, and plain. Okay, so first let me start off by telling you guys. Listen. I, I don't have a 20 fit, 26 foot truck. I don't have truck to trailers. I don't have my authority. I have a DOT endorsement on my license. That's because one of my trucks is over 10,000 pounds. But I don't want you guys to overthink this. And sometimes I think that a lot of people don't watch the whole video. And guys, I'm not, I'm not mad because you don't watch the video, but I try to put as much information in here and try to shrink the videos and make them as, as short as possible because you're not gonna watch you know, a 30 minute lecture of me showing you how to do this. So please watch the video. If, if I don't explain something clearly, just drop it down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as you have, but let's jump right into it. Let me show you how you make $100 a day with your truck. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down for you. I'm gonna just break down the trucks that I have and I'll show you how to start and then scale it. Okay, so this is my big monster truck. This is my baby. Uh, all my other trucks are paid for. I pay cash for all of my vehicles. I would suggest that you do that. I, would, I don't highly suggest that you go out and you start leasing, renting, or are paying for a truck every month if you don't have the business. I'm gonna do this video as if you're starting over from zero because that's, that's what I tend to see a lot in the questions is a lot of people, you don't have anything so you're starting over. All right, so look, I've done this several times before. This is the very first truck that I got. I paid $2,000 for this van. All of my trucks I paid, my trucks I paid less than $2,000 for. They ran pretty good. I have a, my cousin is a good mechanic. So I bought the trucks. I had my cousin fix them, whatever they needed. I, I got the trucks up the par and running. That's another truck that I have. I paid two grand for that. This is a Chevy Tahoe that I have. I paid 1500 bucks for that. I do have a van that's missing. Uh, my dad's driving that van right now. What I will do is, uh, let me move this over. So in this space right here, <laughs> I'll put a photo of my Astro van that I have right here. And then of course I have my monster box truck uh, that we do larger hauls in. So let me break this down for you. We're just only concentrating on making 100 bucks a day. You can scale that up to however you see fit. So here's where you get people from. You can go on Craigslist. You can go on Facebook Marketplace. You can make digital flyers. Ladies and gentlemen, I created digital flyers. I didn't have any money. You don't have any money. There are apps that you can use. You can use Canva. You can go to PhotoGrid. Um, uh, there's other apps within that you can download on your phone. You can take a photo of your truck right from the side or go on Google and find a, like if your truck is beat up, because some of our trucks are beat up. Uh, if your truck is beat up, go on Google, find a Google image of your truck. You want it to be similar to your truck because when you pull up to someone's home or whatever, you don't want to, I, I never misled anybody. You know, the photos that you see are of my truck or they're a style of my truck, or whatever, but you want, you want them to see the exact truck. Now, how do you get them? Your flyer, you can't be shy about this. The other questions I get is, you guys have talked about the insurance, you talk about the regulations, the licenses. Guys, I was broke. I have insurance now. I have multiple car, I have, I have car, so all these cars are under one insurance. I get a discount because they're all uh, under one insurance. And shameless plug, I do run a credit repair business. So if you do need your credit fix, I can help you. I have a 790 credit score. So my insurance is low. The home that, you know, some of you guys are coming from that 700 video. I also have the house tied into that insurance. So all these things, I get a multi level or multi discount, whatever, because I have everything under that insurance. Yes, I do have insurance now, but when I first started, no, 
No, I, did, I told you guys, I don't have a, an authority. I don't have a tractor trailer. This is for the people out there that are just getting started. You take your truck, you jump on Craigslist, you make digital flyers, you start advertising. I understand, look, in the beginning, you're looking for people that need to, have to move furniture. You're looking for people that need to move couches. You're gonna go to warehouses. You're gonna go to moving companies. You're gonna go to furniture places. Their contracting work out. Client, people are out there going to Home Depot. They're going to Lowe's. They're going to U-Haul. They're renting trucks. They can rent your truck. Now, again, I, I told you I wanna give you the breakdown. Let's say you have a pickup truck, okay? You don't have to have these, but I'm gonna break this down for you. Let's start here. Let's say you have a pickup truck. With the bed of your pickup, you can pick up couches. You can, you, there's a thing called couch flipping. Look it up on YouTube. I can't remember the guy's name that does it. You can buy couches for a hundred bucks. Take your pickup truck, buy couches for a hundred bucks, reupholster, clean the couches, try to get them for free, free 50 bucks, a hundred bucks, right? And you, you know, you're not paying thousands of dollars for a couch. You pay a hundred bucks for the couch, you reupholster it, you fix it, you clean it up, you throw it up on Facebook Marketplace, you sell the couch. Now here's the thing, maybe you sell the couch for 200 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever. You sell it for a profit. You have a pickup truck. What if you sold the couch and did free delivery? Guys, I'm just giving you ideas. I'm just, I'm just showing you how you can take what you have, an asset that you already have, and then turn that into revenue. Please stick along with me. Don't drop out just yet, okay? So that's just one way. You can do hauling in here. There are people that buy, they, they buy furniture, antique places. All I'm saying is where there's a will, there's a way. So you guys are asking me how, where, you gotta grind, man. You gotta hustle. It's not gonna be, I, can, I just can't give you a handbook and say, oh, well, if you go to a garage sale, somebody's gonna hire you. It may not be that. So that's what you can do with this. With my vans over there, you can do bigger hauls or bigger moves, right? You can even tow with this too. But in my vans, I used to tow, I used to move people's houses, one bedroom apartments. Uh, there's a lot of single people out there that look, think, think of it like this. If they have to go to U-Haul and rent a van and then gas that van, pay for the mileage, it could be unlimited miles or whatever, U-Haul, normally the trucks charge a dollar a mile. Just think of the time that you're saving them. So if you charge them $99 an hour, that's what I did in the beginning. You charge them $99 an hour. The clock starts when you get there. It may take you three or four hours to move from the beginning of when you start to when you end. That's an easy three to 400 bucks if you have a if you have a cargo van. So remember, I have a pickup truck and a cargo van. These same things. Remember the couch thing that I was saying in the pickup truck? That could work for the cargo van too. Doesn't matter what you have, right? Now let's say you have a box truck because this is where I've gotten the, the most um, questions about it. Here you can do full moves. So I'm moving entire apartments, homes, people are transitioning, people have to move things. And with where we are right now with the pandemic and lockdowns rolling around the country, transportation is gonna be a big thing. One of the other things that I did, and I've, and I've mentioned this, and I'm, I'm gonna make more videos. One of the other things that I did was I worked with uh, food banks. Food banks, charities, shelters, it's not gonna be easy, okay? But listen, imagine if you could find a charity or something or a food bank that would pay two to three dollars per box. How many boxes could you fit? Guys, it's out there. You gotta, you gotta get out there and get it though. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I thank you guys for, I wanna thank you guys for commenting. It's been crazy. So I'm saying all that to say this. If you have a box truck, if you have a pickup truck, if you have a cargo van, if you have a, like a Chevy Tahoe a truck like that, if you have an Astro van like I have, there are ways and things that you can do. Now, again, listen to me because somebody's not gonna watch this all the way to the end. Somebody's gonna be in my comments and I'm gonna timestamp this because somebody in the comments, you're gonna say exactly this. How do you make money? The, the entire video is how you make a hundred bucks, right? How do you make money? Here's what you can do. I'm gonna timestamp this. Take your truck, go on Craigslist, go on Facebook Marketplace, make flyers, create a free website. You can go to freewebsite.com, you can go to anywhere. Create a website. If you want a link to a website that I use, comment down below, I'll send you a link to the website company that I use, okay? Well, well I made my website for Sugar Rim Bar. Create a website, go on Vistaprint, create some business cards, create some flyers, start posting and getting it out there. Start moving into chat rooms, start linking up with retail businesses, start uh, reaching out to warehouses, start looking at other delivery companies, start networking with other people. There are some people out there, there's some movers who they got so much work, they would subcontract the work to you. Find people that need to move ATMs, 
find people that need to move vending machines. All I'm saying is you can't, you're limiting yourself because you're not thinking outside of the box. Things need to get moved. Everything in your house, everything that's around you, if you're at home, you're at, you're at work, you're in a place, look around you. Every single thing around you got delivered. It wasn't made where you're at. It got delivered. It came from a plane, a train, and it went all the way down to a truck, to a smaller truck, to a car, and got put on the showroom floor. You have to figure out where you're gonna fall in that food chain. And right now I know that these videos, uh, I don't know if I'm fully explaining it to you, but you gotta start thinking outside of the box. Even if you take one idea that I gave you, you gotta work it. Now look guys, I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. This channel, I'm going to begin to make your channel. I wanna build content that you wanna see. I just, I did this video because I know that I got a ton, a ton of questions um, from that last video. And if there's anything that I can do to help you guys, please leave comments down below. It would be helpful if you if you would kind of articulate what it is that you want me to answer. Just saying like, how you make the money? It's not gonna do it for me, guys. I wanna help you guys out. When you, when you get your trucks and when you start leveling up and when you start getting those deliveries and you get those contracts, shout me out, man. You, you know, like I tell you, you guys are my grindpreneur nation. I want to show you how I was able to take nothing. I had nothing. And I scaled that into a multiple six figure business, which then allowed me to create other businesses. So you're somewhere in life. I just want to, I want to encourage you. I want to motivate you. I want you to see that it's possible. I'm really not this short. I am not this short. It's just, I got these big, huge monster tires <laughs> on my truck. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for encouraging me. Corey Burma Sugar Room Bar. I will see you guys on the next video. Destroy that like button. Smash that notification bell so you can get notified the next time I go live, the next time I upload another video. Thank you guys for watching. I never give up. Always stay encouraged. Corey Burma Sugar Room Bar. I will see you guys on the next video. We're out. <laughs>